Set sail to the captivating world of Gilligan's Island, a timeless TV series that stranded its characters on an uncharted desert isle. With an ensemble cast and a mishmash of personalities, the show aired from 1964 to 1967, charming audiences with its humor and inventiveness. Amongst the colorful characters ranging from the bumbling but endearing Gilligan to the resourceful professor, the audience found themselves drawn to different favorites. Which character's antics or quirks left a lasting impression on you? Was it the witty banter of the skipper or the glamorous allure of Ginger? One notable aspect was the inclusion of classic Hollywood actor Alan Hale Jr., who brought life to the lovable skipper. His charismatic presence added depth and warmth to the show, making him a beloved figure for many viewers, whose performance stood out to you amidst this eclectic cast. As we reminisce about this iconic series, we're eager to hear your cherished memories and personal experiences related to Gilligan's Island. Whether it's a favorite episode that still brings a smile or a nostalgic moment connected to the show, share your stories with us in the comments below. Your recollections add to the richness of this timeless classic. The premise of Gilligan's Island, a 1964 TV series, required the characters to rely on devices constructed from materials found on a tropical island. This meant specially made props, a challenge the prop department enjoyed. One standout was a bamboo foot pedal powered car used in several third season episodes, which became a favorite among the cast. The series capitalized on Alan Hale Jr.'s tendency to address people as little buddy, turning it into the skipper's signature term of affection for Gilligan, now widely used by fans as a nickname for Bob Denver. Producers once considered adding a young nephew of the professors to the castaways but decided against it due to the redundant dynamic it would create alongside Gilligan's childlike nature. Bob Denver initially doubted for the role of Gilligan due to his previous character, almost missed his chance on the iconic show. Creator Sherwood Schwartz hesitated over Denver's association with a beatnik-type image. However, Denver's audition changed his mind, proving his fit for the stumbling innocent Gilligan we came to know. Amidst the casting dilemmas, the island's lagoon set had its challenges. Situated in Studio City, Ka, on the CBS lot, filming schedules had to dodge rush hour traffic noise from nearby freeways, affecting audio recordings during certain times. The show's attention to detail, from casting choices to set challenges, played a crucial role in shaping the beloved series that remains etched in TV history. The professor from the 1964 TV series Gilligan's Island boasted an impressive educational background. Throughout the show, he claimed to hold degrees from prestigious universities like UCLA, USC, SMU, and TCU, covering a range from bachelors to a PhD. However, these qualifications were merely part of the professor's character, enhancing his role as the intellectual backbone of the stranded group. Despite these academic credentials, his ability to solve the island's problems often overshadowed his formal education. This aspect of the professor's character added depth to the show, showcasing a blend of intelligence and practical problem-solving skills in the face of their predicament. The multiple degrees hinted at a comprehensive knowledge base, contributing to the variety of solutions he brought to the island's challenges, making the professor an indispensable figure among the castaways. Tina Louise's contract demands for Gilligan's Island stirred behind the scenes upheaval. She insisted on being the last credited, leading to the famous and the rest line after naming the cast. Bob Denver protested, refusing to film the second season unless the credits included the professor and Marianne. Eventually, Schwartz relented, reshaping TV history. This contractual tussle underscored power dynamics and egos behind the idyllic island facade, revealing the intricate workings of showbiz at the time. Such negotiations often shaped the smallest details on screen, showcasing how off-screen battles altered the on-screen narrative, leaving an indelible mark on the show's legacy. The series Gilligan's Island from 1964 birthed an expansive legacy, extending far beyond its initial run. Among its lesser-known contributions lies the intriguing tale of musical transitions. Initially, the Wellingtons lent their harmonies to the iconic theme song, and even made an appearance as the Mosquitoes in a classic episode. Yet, a shift occurred as the Eligibles took over for subsequent seasons, ushering in a new sonic era for the show. 
However, the show's resonance wasn't confined to its theme song. Despite its brief three-season run, the cultural impact birthed an enduring fanbase that craved more. This hunger birthed a string of spin-offs and sequels. From Saturday morning animated escapades like The New Adventures of Gilligan to live-action continuations like Rescue from Gilligan's Island, the franchise evolved, capturing imaginations across various mediums. Even years later, in the realm of TV theme songs, its victory in the 2013 Yahoo TV Best TV Theme Song Ever competition stands as a testament to its enduring charm. Defeating formidable contenders like the theme from Cheers, it solidified its place in the pantheon of television nostalgia. The series' ability to transition seamlessly from musical adaptations to spin-offs and sequels speaks volumes about its enduring appeal. Gilligan's Island transcended its time, leaving an indelible mark on television history that continues to resonate with audiences, showcasing a unique blend of humor, escapism, and enduring cultural relevance. The island shown in the opening and closing credits of the 1964 TV series Gilligan's Island is actually located in Kano Bay, about a mile offshore from the island of Oahu in Hawaii. The serene, picturesque setting became synonymous with the show's premise of a group of castaways surviving on a tropical island. This iconic location, with its lush greenery and stunning shoreline, set the stage for the misadventures and escapades of the beloved characters. While the island served as the backdrop for the series, behind-the-scenes challenges often shaped the on-screen narrative. One such challenge involved Don Wells, who portrayed Marianne. Despite her acting prowess, Wells faced a unique hurdle she was terribly tone deaf. Her off-key singing disrupted scenes, prompting the need for her to lip sync during musical moments. Singer, songwriter Jackie DeShannon stepped in to dub Mary Ann's singing voice for most instances, ingeniously incorporating Mary Ann's inability to sing into the plot. The juxtaposition of the idyllic island setting with the cast's off-screen dynamics and challenges showcases the intricate workings of producing a beloved TV show. Despite these obstacles, Gilligan's Island captured the hearts of audiences, transcending its time to become a timeless classic, etching its mark in television history. As the sands of time continue to trickle through the hourglass, it's fascinating how certain relics from the past manage to stay etched in our memories. Gilligan's Island, that charming 1964 TV series, undoubtedly holds a special place in the hearts of many. The allure of a tropical paradise, the eclectic ensemble cast, and the whimsical misadventures that ensued on that fateful island captivated audiences then, and still resonate today. Reflecting on this iconic show might transport you back to simpler times, sparking nostalgic flickers or perhaps a profound connection with its characters. The quirky dynamics between Skipper and Gilligan, the elegant sophistication of Thurston and Lovey Howell, or the endearing innocence of Marianne and Ginger each character contributing a unique hue to the vibrant canvas of the show. What does Gilligan's Island evoke in your mind's eye? Is it a childhood memory, a moment of shared laughter with loved ones, or perhaps a lesson gleaned from the escapades of these stranded voyagers? I invite you to share your treasured memories or thoughts about Gilligan's Island. Your stories, your reflections, they form the threads of a rich tapestry that celebrates the enduring legacy of this beloved series. Feel free to sail through the waves of nostalgia and drop anchor in the comments section below, sharing your anecdotes, musings, or even your favorite episode. Thank you for taking this moment to journey back with me to that sun-soaked island. Your participation and fond recollections add layers of depth to the timeless allure of Gilligan's Island. 